this is number one attitude machine let's say this is 200 gram and let's say this is 50 gram this is the attitude machine number let's say one Now we're going to draw the attitude machine number two. This is 10 kilogram. This is also 10 kilogram. This is attitude machine number two. Now we're going to draw another scenario. This is 10 kilogram, okay, and there is nothing over here. In all three scenario, here's what I want you to find. I want you to find the acceleration of this one, acceleration of this one, acceleration of this one. Understand that in New York City and many part of the world if elevator accelerate more than two meter per second, that elevator must be shut down. So to use the elevator, elevator must accelerate less than two meter per second. So keep that in mind. What else are you gonna find? We're gonna find the tension force. Tension force on the rope, okay? So now let's start our conversation with the first one. Okay. So we're going to start with the, we're going to call this one is mass one. We're going to call this one is mass two. So mass one and mass two. Mass one, I have the m1 g which is smaller than ft is because this guy is accelerating this way okay and this guy is accelerating downward and you know accelerating downward means negative very good all right so let's do this one The free body diagram for this one, this one has to be bigger. So M2G and FT has to be smaller. Okay, now it's time to put Newton's second law. What do you know about Newton's second law? Newton's second law is of course F equal MA at what direction, what direction, at what type of MA, M1A, FT minus M1G is equal to M1A. Here, F equal MA as well. This is M2A. So, FT minus M2G is equal to negative because this is acceleration is negative. Negative M2A. FT is, let's make it red. M1G plus M1A. Replace this by this m1g plus m1a minus m2g is equal to minus m2a we're almost there anything that has a with it being to the left side so m1a plus m2a is equal to m2g minus m1g factor of the acceleration m1 plus m2 factor of the g m2 minus m1 acceleration is of course m1 plus m2 over g m2 minus m1 acceleration is g is 9.8 m2 
what is m2 is 200 gram so 200 gram is 0.2 minus 50 gram is 0 0.05 all right and this one is 0.2 plus 0 0.05 so acceleration is 5.88 meter per second square. I'm gonna double check by using calculator. It's always good to double check because just to be safe. that is correct is 5.88 meter per second is queer this elevator needs to be shut down immediately because if people takes this elevator this elevator will uh, will accelerate 5.88 meter per second is square and that's not good remember our equation our equation is you're going to use that equation a is g m2 minus m1 and m1 plus m2 you always want m2 is bigger than m1 okay m2 is must be bigger than m1 okay and now what do you see over here over here you see that both of the mass are same so acceleration is g 10 minus 10 over 20 so acceleration is g 9.8 times 0 over 20 so acceleration is 0 why is that because both mass are the same now you probably think oh, how much tension you have so acceleration is 0 this acceleration is 0 this acceleration is 5.88 meter per second square now you probably think how much is the the tension force so let's find the tension force so tension force is uh, ft so ft minus you can use any two it doesn't matter uh, this one is m1 m1g minus m1g is equal to ma a is zero right m1a so ft is equal to m1g so ft is equal to m1 is of course 10 g is 9.8 so ft is 98 newton ft is 98 newton all right now let's see let's check this one check out this one so you have acceleration is we have the equation over here g m2 minus m1 All right, so G M2 minus M1 over how much? Over M2 plus M1. Okay, so A is G M2 is zero, M1 is 10, M2 is zero plus M1 is 10. G is 9.8, okay, so G minus 10 over 10 10 goes to 10 once so a is negative g so a is negative 9.8 meter per second squared and that is obvious because this elevator is in free fall because acceleration is negative 9.8 meter per second squared as if someone cut the rope by a scissor all right so now we can find the tension force on the rope and you can only Im imagine tension force has to be zero here so this is m2g so ft minus m2g is equal to m2a so ft is equal to m2g plus m2a ft is equal to uh, m2 g plus a all right so ft is equal to m2 which is 10 g is 9.8 and a is negative 9.8 all right 
So Ft is 10 times 0. So Ft is 0. And that, that is obvious because there is no tension force on this rope because this guy is on free fall. Okay, so now we're going to solve a few other problems. Okay, um, we're going to solve a few other problems. Okay. It's fun to solve problem, and now we're going to look inside the elevator what's going on if you stand up on a scale uh, is going to measure your the scale going to measure your mass and that's not the weight that's the normal force and that's what we are going to be putting emphasis on so for scenario let's consider scenario one 100 kilogram scenario two also 100 kilogram scenario 3 also 100 kilogram scenario 4 also 100 kilogram all right what are we trying to do this one let's say cost this one let's say the acceleration is a negative 9.8 meter per second squared this one is acceleration is negative 2 meter per second squared this one acceleration is 2 meter per second squared and this one constant velocity acceleration is 0 but constant velocity okay all right now first we're going to find fg okay so fg is going to be the same okay let's use the rate for fg So FG, we're going to use acceleration due to gravity, negative 10 meter per second squared. So that we don't have to use calculator. Okay. So FG is going to be 1000 Newton. So this is FG. How it is 1000 Newton? 100 kilogram times 10. 1000 Newton. There is another name for FG, and that is the weight you get. Uh, FG is 1000 Newton, and FG is also 1000 Newton. Okay, now we're going to find FN. This is FG. Now we're going to find FN. Remember, elevator reads only the FN, it does not read the fg okay so we're gonna find fn over here and you know the equation for fn fn is equal to m g plus a or m g minus a all right this is accelerating uh, the positive direction so G plus A. This is accelerating at the negative direction. This is Fn is uh, G, uh, M G minus A. Okay, because this is accelerating down. This is also accelerating down M G minus A. All right, now let's find it. Fn is m is uh, 100, g is 9.8, a is 10, a is 0, acceleration is 0. So Fn is, uh, let's use 10, uh, g is 10, acceleration due to gravity is 10. So 1000 Newton. So Fn and Fg are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction just because this is constant velocity constant velocity fn and fz are the same now let's see the other one okay so f is equal to 110 plus 2 so fn don't forget n over here 1200 
neutron. What does that mean? That means apparent will gain. Appen is bigger. Okay, now let's see this one. Fn is m is hundred, g is ten minus two, so Fn is eight hundred. All right, so this one is apparent weight loss. Fn is eight hundred newton. Finally, are you gonna do this one? Okay. So Fn is m is I don't know one hundred. G is, uh, I don't know, 10 minus <laughs> acceleration. Uh, let's use acceleration due to gravity is 10. All right, let's use acceleration due to gravity is 10. All right, so F A is negative 10, okay? So F N is, Hundred zero, so fn is zero. There is no fn. Right? This is free fall, free fall. So fn is zero. And now final thing we're gonna do the apparent weight gain. Apparent weight gain. Apparent weight loss. Same or weightless. This one is same. This one is apparent weight gain of 200. This one is apparent weight loss. This one is weightless. Finally, heavier or lighter? This one is same. This one is heavier, this one is lighter, and this one is weightless. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow.